We're going to know which one it is in just a second. There it is. Clubhouse is our decider between Rogue and Navi. Again, no overtime in EU but League. Let's go for bands is going to be the one. My, that's an interesting one. That's a BDS special coming out there. Clearly, they've looked at BDS and gone, hmm. Now, as soon as he succeeds in doing so, the plank could potentially go down, but it's going to be Aces really to get the kill onto Panix. Kendra, in the meantime, will be running in, getting one kill to start things off. He's trying to go for more. He will be hitting that shot beautifully. As he now is going to be pushing even more aggressive, but that was a bit too much of uh, of what he could do and could handle right there, and leaves it all up to Nello in the last five seconds of this round. Nello needs to make something amazing happen. He will get one, but it's no time for the other two. And with that, it's going to be Roke to win round number one of the back of time. And to try and go quite aggressive here down through Moto. And we've seen teams get themselves real shoehorned in here by things like smoke canisters if they're not careful. Could not yet come back to sting them later into the round, but Doki's hugging up to that wall. You could kind of see the yellow coming through the wall, so it was a bit of a risk to even go for that in the first place. Clearly didn't expect to take damage, but ultimately he will be, and that could come back to cost them big in this round. I don't want to say he's a problem child here, but Doki in the last round died in a very inconvenient time. It's come through at exactly the same here when they really needed this church wall open. And they definitely did for the final execute, which is now going to have to happen without it. Ten seconds left on the clock. It's going to be Kendra to try and move in, but he will be found by the prone. Well, Smoke right there with their M59 shotgun. It's only up to Nello and saves right now. Are they going to be able to find the players necessary to get it? Probably not. The time runs out yet again. And Rogue will be able to get a second clock on that round history. Corey right here, probably being supported by his teammate on that camp. And we'll be going for a run out as soon as one is far enough to go for the camp. Oh, Beautiful oh, headshot. Doki taking Doki clean again. off. To bed. Doki is not going to be opening up any walls today. White swinger Corey is actually going for the pickup. That's quite risky. Is it going to be knowing? No, he does not know. Panics isn't aware, but the plane goes down. In the meantime, Nello able to get that one through. It's not going to be countered. Yes, it is actually to go count <laughs> get countered. Ritz is going to be downed. Is, however, not going to be secured as of yet. And it's only Kendry left right now in a one-on-two situation. Kendry will feel a bit more safe going about this one. Secures that kill. But now they know exactly where he is, of course. He's going to be trying to challenge out on these stairs right here. Oh, Gets Kendrew. that kill as well. He is going to be able to get for a potential one-on-one -on -one right here. He's going to be trying to hide himself and tuck himself in as best as he can. Right behind the reinforced wall right there. And Asus needs to go for the push right now. He's spotting out that diffuser case right there. He's going to be able to put some shots in and eventually oh, we'll get it. Large. They've got to get rid of Rips up here before they try and make a play. Because that window that leads in towards the actual site itself needs to be kept clear. This time around, it's going to be Nello finding the opening kill. I believe that is the first round for them. And a great grenade Beautiful. sales from Kendrew. This guy is on one today. Six kills for himself here inside four rounds. Beautiful toss grenade in there. First, uh, actually, the, the actual drone came in from Panix, who now has his uh, his body removed from him. So they seem to be going from the mezzanines right now, getting right behind the service stack. Kendrick going in for that plant. There's going to be one still on the roof to counter out the jump out that Rogue wanted to attempt, but the planter somehow has been denied. Doki is on one HP. It's a two on two situation right here. One is going to be on the side. Are they going to be able to stall it? No, they're not. One goes down. There goes a return from Doki, but he falls straight after. It's Gojeka to get his triple kill right here. And it's going to be Rogue to force it into all four. After Navi, oh, they went for an actual execute. 40 on the clock. You don't want to be using them too quickly now. As uh, Doki goes down oh, yet Doki. again. <laughs> Oh man, it happens time and time again. It was actually Leon slinking up behind him on this Oryx. We mentioned just how much of a terror he can be. Every team you speak to will tell you that he is an absolute nightmare to play against, especially if you haven't got a flank drone on it, if you haven't got an air jab ready. He will just jump up behind you and give you a massive headache. Nello's going to give some kind of redemption over to the team here, bringing one back over. But it's still a lot of work to do in a three versus four here with only about 60 seconds left on the clock. Leon's going to strike again, this time around bringing down saves. Him and Doki have really struggled to get into this game, as has Panic so far. It's a lot of riding on Nello and Kendrew's shoulder. Speaking of which, a couple of kills coming in for Nello in this round. The other, I believe, went the way of Kendrew. It's a two versus two, but they are the ones on the attack here. And despite what I said earlier, it does get quite difficult. Kendrew makes it a second, so two kills apiece for the old boy support duo from the UK. What more can they do here? Once Croatian, I really should clarify that. In Nello's case, Bukajek is going to find a kill onto Kendrew. This puts us in a one versus one. You wow, can see Shorty through the shield here. He has an idea of what's going on. Shorty should be able to spray this one. He misses it out, but he has enough time to waste here. He can now go assume control of what's upstairs inside a kitchen or above the hatches themselves and try to find him as he tries to push his way out here. This could be a very awkward one versus one. And right now, Nello is the one with the diffuser and looking to go for a plan somewhere. Oh, no. Kuzeka read it perfectly. Nello picked it up. Kuzeka was aware. 
<sighs> he drops down, knows that this is the only rotation they can go through. I would only assume that he's trying to get control right here at Jim slowly, but still afraid that someone might be uh, below him, below in pool. Just able to respawn any second now. Kajeka picking up his second and second and a second kill right here for Rogue. Onto Pat Nex is gonna be Doki however to respond finally, taking down Liam Gates. Nexus, however, does not sit still. It's gonna be a two and three situation as we're counting down the last 30 seconds on the clock. Make that a two and two. It's Kajeka and Corey left alive. And well, who else than Kajeka do you want Where to have Corey? in this lineup right now? Where is Corey indeed? Are you below? Are you coming from construction? Yes, Ooh. he is indeed. That might be the good choice right here. Kusheka picks up one. Oh, the last one's right in the bathroom. Kusheka, you're just too good for this for this nasty team. There's nothing they can do. There is no time left. Only nine seconds left on the clock. The crossfire is there. They peek on contact. It's Corey with the final one. It's Rope with a flawless half. And this is surely demotivating, uh, demotivating for Navi here. It's similar to what we saw coming out of Rogue early when Leon was the one playing on the Oryx. They left these hatches soft. I think here his plan is to roam between the, the ground floor and also getting himself upstairs. He finds a nice opening kill onto Leon and saying, Leon, have a taste of your own medicine, buddy. You were doing this to us far too often earlier on. This is a bit of humble pie being served across to you. Kendry's going to find a second kill and Corey is gone. So just like Navi's fate earlier on, two are going to be down early on for the side of Rogue and the wind should be taken out of their sails. As Kendrew is just holding off, he knows he has this little opening right here, he can peek through, he has the angle, he has the opportunity to try and, well, deny him a bit more, the super shorty coming in, first one isn't going to be able to get the kill, because Jekka managed to get the trade in, 2 and 3, we're counting down, pre-fire, onto saves, gets it down, it's a 2 and 2 right now, no way Rogue is going to be able to actually get this clutch in, all they have to do is just go for the cover right now, because Krebs is going for the plant, they're going for the pickup, of course, onto saves, why not, why wouldn't they, as you basically put yourself into an advantageous position, if you do so, it's going to be safe to finally oh, no get taken way. out by Rips. It's Penix to go down. Rogue is going to be able to do this. Potentially, it's just Nello left in a one-on-one -on -one situation against Kurzak. Is it going to be the 7-0 to come in? Impacts are going to be non-impactful. It's just Nello with his LMG. Is he going to be able to do it? He needs to peak wide. 20 seconds on the clock. He needs to go for it. Oh. He gets the kill. It's going to be the round in. Not going to go for that uh, pickup, just to be sure. <laughs> but Navi is going to be getting one round on the board. That's not being tossed. Not being released as of yet from Sage. He's just waiting in holding in the meantime it's rips that will be taking down nello that is the big benefactor the big clutch factor of navi last round taken out he was the one that kept them alive nestoki now gets taken down by lee and gets as well and ace is jumping in this is surely gonna be troublesome right here for oh, the likes man. of Ro uh, navi he's gonna be shot in his back right here saves taken out by aces it's only up to kenry right here but it's a lost cause you have jinxed this before you make this happen, Desert. You said the seven one was gonna be a oh, thing. No. Indeed, you get one more, but it's uh, it's over now. Rips gets the final one with the five seven, and we'll be finishing things off. And Rogue looking very convincingly against a very weak looking Navi here. It was a rough first half for Navi. I'm not quite sure again why we saw Doki playing on the support, but it's definitely a difference to what we see them play. And maybe that was the f of it that weighed into this one. It definitely wasn't the kind of team that we saw stepping up to play against G2. And Rogue are showing that actually the other day wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a one-off. It wasn't a flash in the pan.